we are going to open day number two. So yesterday's was that awesome hot air balloon. And that was super exciting. Let's see what today's is. Okay. Oh, what a pretty stamp. Okay, let me take it out of here so that you're not looking at a glare. So this says, hello, friend. Still have a glare. There we go. And it's just so, it's so pretty. So you could do this with colors. You could do embossing ink. You could do alcohol markers. And I love the scripty hello with the typeset friend. That is nice. Okay, let's go create something wonderful with this. Okay, so for day number two, I thought it would be fun to play with some watercolors, which I don't do very often, mainly because I forget that I have them. And this is just an inexpensive set that I got at like Walmart or Target. But what I like about it is that everything is a shimmer. So, I don't know if you can see this is but kind of like this do you see the shimmer i just love it so i thought that we could um just do a little bit of watercolor on here and then do some stamping and get a really nice pink here get some more water probably should get a lot of water on my paper first but basically, I'm just going to put some pink down, just like that. Maybe a, there we go, a little bit different pink. Okay, we're kind of going a little bit of a rainbow order. Things will kind of mix a little bit. Okay. And how about a green? Let's see. Maybe we'll go with this green right here. And these are, you know, my not my traditional watercolors. Um, maybe a little bit of blue. They're actually quite creamy, so it's kind of fun. Let me get in here. That blue is very vibrant. Kind of mix up that yellow a little bit. Oh, there we go. Got a little bit of orange in there. All right, so I'm just going to let this dry for just a little bit, and then we will do some stamping on here and then turn this into a sweet little card. Okay, so this is dry, and I'm going to bring in my Misty here. I'm going to put this, let's see, we're going to put this here in this corner. This is not exactly watercolor paper. I'm going to put that just like so. And I think I am going to get some mint tape just so I can hold that in place here. I'm just going to hold that down like that. And I think I'm going to just stick that. You see how that looks? Maybe a little bit higher. I meant to put this down all together. Okay, I think that'll be okay. All right, we're gonna just stamp this up with our VersaFine ink pad here. This is great for those delicate, intricate stamps. And press that down and lift. Wow, that looks great. I might do one more. One more impression, but I don't think it really needs it. And press. Perfect. I think that looks, that looks great. So this is what our panel looks like right here. I think that looks fantastic. And I'm just going to grab a little baby wipe here to clean all this off. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to trim this down. Now, my options for 
a card base are a white card base or a pink card base. And let's do, actually this one is great that way, but not this one. Let's see. Let me bring in my big paper trimmer. This is at four and a quarter. So I'm gonna take off a quarter of an inch on both sides here. And let's see, five and a half. So I'll take off quarter here on the bottom. All right, I think I actually wanna do a little bit more along the bottom. All right, so this is now measuring at three and three quarters by four and three quarters. So the next thing that I would like to do is put some foam tape on the back. Now this right here is four and a quarter by 11. So I am going to actually just gonna go ahead and very quickly, I'm just gonna fold this. And normally I would be using my foam folder and my scoring tool. Okay, but here we go, just like that. Nice, quick, easy. And then we're gonna go ahead, put a little sticker on the back. This is just a print and cut sticker with my logo. Use those up. And then, okay, we're gonna be putting this on here and it will have a wide white margin. Now the foam tape will actually help make this flat. Okay, so I think I definitely am going to need to cut my foam tape down. And our final piece of foam tape, okay, that will go there. And then we are going to just remove these backers. And now just going to line this up with the grid lines here on my glass mat. This will give me about a one, uh, about a quarter inch all the way around. So we have our little card panel with our shimmer watercolor and a black stamp for contrast. And this card is finished. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.